Jasmine, thank you. New at five, President Biden signs an executive order aimed at protecting abortion access. He delivered impassioned remarks condemning the extreme support Supreme Court majority that overturned Roe versus Wade just two weeks ago and pleads with Americans upset by the decision to vote in November. Isabel Rosales breaks down what's in order, what's in store for where other things fall short. In the wake of the downfall of Roe v. Wade, the president has no power to restore nationwide right to an abortion. I can tell you what I know. But in a fiery speech, the president going after the conservative majority Supreme Court and Republicans, vowing to do all in his power to protect and expand reproductive care. We cannot allow an out-of-control Supreme Court, working in conjunction with extremist elements of the Republican Party, to take away freedoms and our personal autonomy. Following the controversial ruling from the nation's highest court, nearly a dozen states banning abortion. And more states are expected to make abortion harder to access or outright ban it soon. What we're witnessing is a giant step backwards in much of our country. Just last week, it was reported that a 10-year-old girl was a rape victim in Ohio, 10 years old. And she was forced to have to travel out of the state to Indiana to seek to terminate the presidency and maybe save her life. Imagine being that little girl. Just, I'm, I'm serious, just imagine being that little girl, 10 years old. The new order, the White House claims, will safeguard access to services, including the abortion pill and emergency contraception, plus pushing to protect the privacy of patients. Some Republicans hitting back against the executive order on social media. And the order also doesn't go as far as many activists and Democrats had hoped. The president urging Congress to act. The fastest way to restore Roe, Roe is to pass a national law codifying Roe. But he doesn't have the numbers to move forward on a vote. The president instead calling on Americans to vote in more pro-abortion rights lawmakers. For God's sake, there's an election November. Vote, vote, vote. In Washington, Isabel Rosales.